Today we're gonna talk about some of the most recent Blender courses. We're gonna cover animation, hard surface modeling, character animation, in addition to character modeling and video game creation. This is actually one of the latest courses from CG Cookie. Press start as the name suggests, promises of Blender enthusiast clear and simple tutorials. You can consider it a more practical training of Blender basics used within one project, which will give you the ability to create all kinds of 3D models on your own. You will be undergoing all core steps to create a minigame console, starting from modeling your basic shape using the reference image. You will also use some of the most important tools and seize the chance to put some modeling tools and techniques to use. You will go through modeling, followed by adding materials and applying your textures. Finally, you will shed light on your game console model by setting up lights and getting to render your first 3D model. Blender Bros released this short but really helpful training, which is all about making realistic renders in Blender. It is divided into two sections. The first part will be about optimizing a model by turning it into a game asset. You will see the workflow from start to finish, hitting all major points such as high poly to low poly decimation, UV unwrapping, texture sets, UV island packing, texel density, and much more. The second part is gonna be about compositing, where you will learn how you can composite the photorealistic scene in Blender, and then render it using cycles, and after that, you will enhance your render even further in Photoshop by doing some post-processing and adding a backdrop. Another great training from Blender Bros is the Hard Surface Game Asset Course 2.0. You will learn the way of Matt T for easy modeling, which is a workflow for hard surface modeling that you're gonna learn and use throughout this course, and it stands for Modeling, Automation, Decimation, and Triangulation. Throughout this 6-hour training, you're gonna go through this framework step by step, first you will model your mesh using Blender, hard ops, and box cutter add-ons. After that, in the automation section, you will learn the best practices when trying to UV unwrap your model in order to get the perfect UV unwrapping. In the decimation section, you will learn how to optimize your model to work in any game engine. And finally, triangulation, in which you will learn how to triangulate your models properly to still be able to work within Boolean modifiers. This training promises the best workflow for modeling any type of asset in Blender. Furthermore, for a limited time, you will get as a bonus a free UV unwrap add-on called UV Assist, and it will help you unwrap your model in two clicks. Also, the premium hard surface UV unwrapping course and the hard surface game asset course 1.0 from last year. The ninth chapter of Pierre Picasso animation course Alive is here. It is one of the most extensive Blender animations courses ever. It will walk you through the process of animating characters from scratch. You will start with absolute fundamentals of motion and animation in Blender till the advanced level of character animation techniques. Throughout 180 videos, which add up to more than 32 hours of lessons and exercises, Pierrick will teach you how to get started with animation. You will start first by animating a ball to hammer down some animation fundamentals. After that, you will learn how to animate a squirrel, then a mecha, and then at the end, you will make the ultimate animation as you learn how to animate a run and wall cycles for a superhero character, and even how to create some animation combos in the 8th chapter. This new 9th chapter is added to the training files, so if you already have the course, you might want to re-download it again. This advanced chapter covers the creation of the character intro animation for the Riot Games Animation Challenge. It is made of 33 videos for a total length of 4 hours. You will learn the whole animation process from the planning stage to polishing. This chapter also includes lessons about camera work, using temporary constraints, how to inverse from forward to inverse kinematics, splining, compositing, in addition to how to polish your animation using space switching and much more. The course is jam-packed with a lot of useful information about Blender and animation tips and tricks in general. And although this training covers all this using Blender, the information outlined here is applicable to any other application or software in general. If you are interested in these courses, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.